Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 17th PHP tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use arrays. So arrays are a form of variable uh, except you have a space of memory that's reserved to hold multiple variables or index together. Uh, so in order to write an array uh, you have a normal variable, so dollar my array, uh, and then equals, and then you just put in the array function, so uh, array, and then two curly brackets like that. Uh, and now, what this allows us to do is we can put as many uh, kind of different. Uh, values into this array as we as we wish so if we put in dollar my array and we want to put it set it a value we don't just leave it there you put two square brackets and inside the square brackets you put the reference of your array so you start it off at uh, zero uh, and then set it equal to and then you want to set it equal to a value so let's put this one as chicken the same way you would with a normal variable uh, and then you can also put in more say dollar array one equals beef uh, and then dollar my array two equals apple uh, and you guessed that I'm probably going to be talking about pies again um, so here we have an array uh, and within that array we're storing three pieces of information but rather than them being uh, indexed kind of as individual variables they're linked together and then referenced by a different number and so now when we want to echo these out so I like my pi to have and then we can put a dot and then we can put in our array references so you just reference them the same way you put the value in so my array zero dot and then and well let's put a comma and then dot and then we want our uh, second element and then we want and and then finally our third element uh, and then let's press save and let's run this in our website and it will say I like my pie to have chicken apple and apple uh, because I've put two in twice, so one, save, refresh, chicken, beef, and apple. Uh, so that is how you would set up a kind of simple 2D array. You can keep adding extra elements in, so my array three equals blueberry. Uh, and then keep referencing them uh, the same way you would variables. Uh, so it might not be looking overly useful at the moment, uh, but you'll see why it can be useful uh, in the next tutorial. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.